chug it, 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 chug it. Now, if I was doing this, I'd be standing on top of that pack and I'd be standing a little bit on the right hand side to make it a little bit squarer. A little bit, I'm not doing it, which is good, isn't it? Eh? As you get older, you get wiser and you have to transfer your knowledge to younger people. It's brilliant. I can do it, but they're doing it really well, so it's best I drink a lot of tea. This tea's important. I'm supporting half of China. Yes, there's been some uh, um, some dispute about whether this 434 is any good. Well, um, we use it every day in the yard, and it's got a new customer. And he sent an engineer out, and they said, oh, the rams are no good. They've got some rust on them. Well, yeah, they have got some rust on them. And what we do is find you use it about once a month, then every time it goes in and out, you cover it in oil. But if I was gonna lay this 434 up for a year, I'd grease them rams. But does it use oil? No, it don't. Does it lift like hell? Yes, it does. Is it a lovely vehicle? Yes. What's the hours on this, monkey? What's the hours on this? 105. Oh, on, this one. Oh, on that one, 105, yeah. He is. Yeah, about 80, wasn't it? Yeah. No, no, that's the other one that's 80. This is still low, though. Even lower, bloody hell. Yeah, nice vehicle. Um, I like a 434, and on our driving days, we've got quite a few of these. I, I bought them for a special customer abroad, and I don't think they'll need as many as um, as I bought. So, like that one over there, uh, Pikey, and there's one or two others. I think we'll be using them on our driving days, because, let's be honest, they're bloody useful. And in the summer, we could put seats in the back. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Dun 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 I'm not allowed to sing that theme tune anymore. Copyright. You're doing a grand job, lads. So if there's any of you out there who'd like to learn all about this kind of work, um, next time I go to uh, Saudi Arabia, you can come out with me for 100 nights. 100 nights straight on a training course. And um, yeah, that just went look, 400 pound a day, every day, flights included, fancy cars included, big posh hotel included, and all the water you can drink. That's the posh part. So, uh, Ashley certainly benefited from it. He's now the master of 432s and 434s. They're still out there. Uh, we are in negotiations, how exciting. We're gonna get rid of that snap on shirt and he's gonna have a tax a lot more. What I like about Wednesdays, it's a good day to get a vehicle delivered. Now, is anyone noticing special things about that ferry? Which is something special, something different. He's, go, he's coming the wrong day. Wrong entrance, wrong entrance. Ch Chow Pong, Chow Pong, Chow Pong. Wrong entrance. Yeah, that was a vigilant turret, but it hasn't got its boxes on the side. But the top of the turret, and it's got a traverse handle and a mo all that kind of stuff. So yes, very special, very special. Never seen a proper vigilant, not with everything on it. Again, okay, on no, lads. Looking very cool. I haven't seen one of them for a long while. In fact, I haven't seen one of them since I sold it to the guy in the first place. Oh, a bottle of cider. Maybe. That's unusual. Does that taste of piss? Take a swig it. each, rinse it round your mouth, and tell me if that tastes of piss. Well, I'm not strong enough to open it. You might as well do it. Oh, I'll leave it in the back. I'll drink it. Don't care anyway. <laughs> piss is probably better for you than cider, to be honest. Yeah. So um, this is a very, very special ferry. Very special. Look at that little hole in the side. Look, someone hasn't made that. It's genuine. Then it's got the wiggly, wiggly, wobbly bits on the top that's all a bit different. And then a kind of a rod goes through all the... Oh, just different. And it's got a turny handle for righty-lefty. How about that? Oh, it's got some water in it then. Well done. And uh, what's your oil looking like? What? That's a good sign. Yeah. So the first thing is just to uh, take the distributor cap off, maybe give it a little clean on the points. Oh, there's some emery on my, you saw that? Definitely a clean yeah. on the points. Yeah, make sure you don't leave any dust on the points because that won't work. Definitely clean on the points. Oh, it's looking a bit furry. Yes. Well, it's been sitting a while. I, I think you're fine straight up. Oh, I hope so. 
Well, well funny enough, we know someone who'd love that. He'd love that for his collection because it's unique. If you made those boxes up and he's got some clever friends, you could end up with a very, very rare. Has he got an ID plate in it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it used to have. And guess what the ID plate said? It said vigilant. Vigilant. And it was spelt right. It was actually spelt right as well. So um, it might not be army after all. <laughs> not many soldiers can spell, can they? Not young squaddies who get them them menial tasks. Well done, yeah, see how it goes. Now, the other thing you should check was when they put it on the low loader and it was towed on, was it in neutral in both gearboxes, transfer and main gearbox? Because oh, if not, answer. that's Cafford. If they pulled it on and they've left it uh, even on the transfer box in gear and they pulled it on, that's fucked it. Cattle truck. We need a gearbox. Yes, it was. Eh? I'm pretty sure it was. Okay, well, I did tell him, but that was some weeks ago. This has come up as a bit of a surprise now, hasn't it? Yeah. Nice to think there's a bottle of cider in there. There's more than one. Oh, really? And does it taste a piss? We'll have to get back to you on that one. Okay, okay. I think it'll taste a piss, but cider does taste a piss when it's been knocking around a little while. Don't worry about that. Just drink it and enjoy it. See, there is a god. Because I took a bit of a punt on this old girl. It's been sitting a few years and uh, all sorts of bits and pieces laying all over it. And, and I did notice there was a set of injectors here, which is never a good sign when you buy a vehicle. And um, anyway, it had been sort of abandoned and I put some batteries on it and um, said a little prayer and it fired straight up. Now, I don't know what sort of camouflage this is, but I'll tell you what, I really, really like it. And apart from that, it's missing its glass, which is very common on these. And if the glass ain't good, you can't really do much with them. And I have got like making glass, but they are incredibly unreliable. And they have let me down, and they have taken thousands and thousands of pounds off me in advance. And, um, and I've had nothing for five months. Only lots of ruined glass units that were supposed to be reconditioned. And uh, fingers crossed, they're going to come through because there's a lot of Ukrainians that are screaming out for these vehicles because they ain't bad. If you hit one of these with a proper full-on missile, it will blow it to a million pieces, just like it will with a main battle tank. But if you shoot it or you have shrapnel hitting it, it'll bounce off. So it's better than a Morris Marina. It's just nice and airy. I think I'm going to take the windscreens out of all the snatches we've got. Nice vehicle, Mike. It is. Yeah. I, I thought it was cold on the way home. Then I just realised I had the air conditioning on. <laughs> you did. Yeah. My freezing air blowing at my head. That says something. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah it, it's a shame to rub it down and do something on that camouflage. It's really good, isn't it? Please. Yeah. Very cool. Time on yeah. Well, if we can get this glass company to finally pull their finger out their ass and uh, get the glass, um, it'll be ready in no time. Yes, a sweetie. It's nice to see some vehicles lined up leaving because um, we, look, we, we, we really need the room. We've had a lot leave, but we still need the room. Now, these ones are going on a film, quite a big film, and uh, there's kind of a buyback deal. So um, I've just had an inquiry for another film on five of them. So I'm hoping these will come back just in time to go out on the next film. You kind of sell it to them, and if they don't completely wreck them, you buy them back at a percentage. Not a bad idea. At least I can go down and say, now come on, boys, you know. Or, or they say, no, no, they're only using statics. And then you go and see the film and you see your vehicle doing all sorts of crazy stunts and uh, bloody airborne and stuff like this. And you wonder why it pulled a bit to the left afterwards. And you give them back nigh on all their money. Um, time we got all our wimmicks up. We've got some, a lot of those to collect, which should be a laugh. And um, as far as our little uh, forklifts, we've already, well, I say forklifts, I call them forklifts, they're loadals. As far as the loadals are, um, I've already sold two. How about that? And I've not really tried yet. No adverts or anything, just put them on the website. And what people can f see from, uh, now that's sold. And that's a beautiful story. A lad come up here when he was 10 driving. And now he's got a big IT firm. And he rang me up and he wants to donate vehicles to Ukraine and he's looking for uh, worthy causes. So we've sent him a couple of worthy causes. One of them's been in the hole. And um, I think they're gonna, I think one or two of these guys are gonna get um, a snatch delivered. How about that? 
yeah, uh, sort of a slightly semi-tax thing, but only slightly. Yeah, bless him. I'd love to do it, but I've got 10 people work for me. And um, wow, yeah, finding, settling that bill at the end of the week. <laughs> Um, now we're looking for Land Rovers that have got V5s, snatch Land Rovers. Well, that looks like that looks like that vigilant ferry that turned up yesterday. Needs a fish sale. Oh, in fact, a bit more than that. That it's been nudged. That's a shame. I know Marcus Glenn does the whole caboodle, and that's been bent. It was nothing like that when I sold it. But at least it's running beautifully. Running like a beauty. That's one of my barrels in there. But the important thing is the adjustments on the, um, on, on the turret. Going on a little buying trip. It's so exciting. We want an injector pump for a 300 TDI. And it's cheaper to buy the whole bloody car. And I'm going to drive it back. How cool is that? And we're in the Jaguar anytime. You're in a Jaguar, you should have a smile on your face. Well, apart from when you put in a garage. Yes. And they say, brace yourselves. Ha 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 ha. But what are that? Look at that splendor, the splendor. Look at the walnut. Look at the leather. Look at my dirty hands. Yes, but that doesn't come off on leather and walnut. I've proved that over many years. In a, in another year well, or it's a beauty. It's just what you need in life. A nice old TDI, good and rusty underneath. And we're just buying it for bits. We need an injector pump. And you know what? I can't be arsed looking for one through eBay. So just come and see me old mate Treader and buy a whole Discovery. And it's running well, so I know the, the uh, injector's pump's good. Now all I've got to do is keep Ashley out of it. Because we know what's going to happen. He's going to be driving around the farm, getting it airborne. We can't have any of that going on. Well, for 30 quid, you'd have to say that this um, Discovery is going rather nicely. Yeah, the cheapest injector pump I've ever bought in me, in, me, in me life. Yes, I might even save the engine. And if we get some Land Rover that shits itself, then, um, yeah, I could use it. Um, the seat's not comfortable, but I can live with that, I suppose. But one thing's for certain, I'm still in front of Ashley. <laughs> well, it looks a little bit rough here in there, but you know what? Drives well. Nice car. It was at this moment I realised we may have fucked up. Actually, on a scale of 1 to 10, what would the condition be of the silver golf at this moment in time? How about the badly damaged? Maybe a few more. Age-related dents? No, no, it was, was it forklifted? Oh, Not yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, I have just had a Volkswagen's PR department ring up and um, they are very interested in the 495,000 mile from new two owners. They think it might be one owner. No, no, they, they want it. They, um, they are considering giving me a new Golf and paying me the value of the Golf when it was bought at the same time. And they want it in a showroom with a new golf next to it so you can say, and this matter will be what your golf will look like when you've done nearly half a million miles. That's round the world. I think it's 56,000 miles to get around the world, isn't it? Don't know. Yeah, I've done but it a couple of times. If there's, if so there's a new golf going. How rough going. is it? It's still rough. Wing mirrors? Yeah, it's got wing mirrors. We're in the boot. A bit dented in the doors. I can't remember. I did. I think I did ten cars in a day. Oh God! I, but I can move the cheat and put it out from underneath. Well, after quite a long walk eh, through the mud, dragging an exhaust, um, I found them. Now, this is the peachy one. And uh, Ashley shipped it over with, uh, and I guess he's probably done this with the forklift, and he's probably done a little bit of that with the forklift. But at the end of the day, when I do this, oh, it's a bit mouldy. But there we go, 495,000. Come on, baby, you can do it. Come on, just one more start. One more start for daddy. Come on, one more start. Whoa! There you go. And when I look at this, number of former keepers, one. Pretty special, eh? I was just thinking, it's a bit like saving Private Ryan, isn't it? Eh? 
They've, it, it could get a reprieve from death row. It could. And I mean, lux have it. I mean, some of these other cars quite damaged getting them across, but this one hasn't been. See, see, there is a god. So uh, call me Forrest Gump or uh, ho, 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 anything could happen. Well, I just dropped four tonne of batteries up the, uh, sorry, just under three and a half tonne of batteries up the scrapyard. And I always have a look around. Now, I've just found this Golf. And if you look very carefully, is this the same seat as my 495,000 miler? Because I'm thinking I may need to um, put that 4,900 and what's it, and then get it back on the road and do another, um, another, few thousand miles get it to half a million um, these people are serious I tell you things could happen so is that the same model is it the same color because I could use that for cannibalizing bits off I wonder is this the year I think this is newer I think this is newer but it's got a similar seat and that's in a kind of a check-in pattern I want a stripe pattern but again the bolster hasn't gone so that might be a good seat to rob I'm on the case.